Welcome to Runaway Trains. Welcome to our channel. Today we're doing a review on the Scale Trains Rivet Counter set of well cars. And we're going to unbox that for you. Tell you a little bit about it. We found these today at our local train store at the Whistle Stop, wonderful Pasadena, California. And uh, these were a gift, actually, from our friend Chris. He came in and decided he wanted to get this and uh, give it to us for the channel today. And we're going to open up this nice clamshell style box, which keeps the trains protected. A little tape there. Super annoying. <laughs> Super annoying. But hey, you know, we want to have our trains in good condition, so sometimes we gotta like put up with a little bit of annoying packaging. But it's all for the good, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, uh, nope, it's on the other side as well. More tape. More tape. There we go. Sometimes we go down to take the Amtrak. And we get at the Glendale Station, California, and they have a, a line there where they always have all the well cars just sitting there doing nothing. And it's always exciting to see when you're waiting there to get the Amtrak Surfliner. So to have a set of these finally for our layout, it's a pretty big deal. Super detailed. And uh, it has the style of trucks that they connect the cars together. I'm not sure what they're called. Maybe you guys can leave a comment if you know what type of trucks those are, where at the end of the cars, you'll have the full truck, but then in the, in the middle of the car, there is a truck that links the two cars together. Looks like it just pops right over that pin there. Can you get a close up of that? I'm going to bring that over the box here so you can see how that goes. There we go. And then they sort of swivel and they go around curves. There's some really good detail on that. Want to tell us a little bit about the detail? What do you see? I see like uh, there's safety walkways, um, an MU hose, a coupler cut lever, and then there's a coupler, a skeleton coupler. How about the, the wheels themselves? Do they have metal wheels? Oh, uh, so all metal wheels metal too. Wheels, yeah. And each car comes wrapped in its own bit of plastic. Same amount of detail on this car. It also has some reflective tape as well. Yeah, and the nice logos on that. And a little fine lettering. like the real thing. We call these rivet counters because you really pay attention to details down to the finest rivet, which I guess is how they came up with the name rivet counter. And look at that detail there. And it, it's very delicate in there. Also, it's like metal. It's a metal car as the well. The car is made from metal. Yeah. It's, it's a, really heavy. It's a die cast. Body. Die cast metal. Die cast metal. It feels nice and heavy. It's got a good weight to it. I'm sure when we get it on the track, it'll 
it'll be nice and balanced. I know the quality of the trains that uh, Scale Trains makes. They've got a few things by them, and these rivet counters, especially at the top of the line. And also more expensive. Yeah, more expensive. But uh, hey, you know, when your friend gives you a gift like this, you're not going to complain, are you? <laughs> Then this has also included some paperwork. It was also included with the cars. The paper still has that? Exploded parts diagram right here. Yes. So if any part is missing, just, yeah. just look for the part on here. And also, some information on the cars. So we're putting these on the track, and then we realize that it has rotating bearing caps, which is a real good feature. One of those details that you don't see everywhere and when you realize that you got that is such a special feature. We're going to link all these up for you. We built this bit of extension off of the main layout that comes along the wall here. And we use it sort of as a siding to keep some uh, special trains. We're waiting for our Surfliner cars to come out this summer <laughs> so we can match that up with our Siemens Charger engine. And we can run that out on the main line over there. There's the old well cars that we had. Did anybody else have that in that shot? Did you just... get that one? This one is an extra. Is it an extra or we just... Uh... I guess we gotta buy another set. Yeah, incorrect. I think we gotta put it in the middle here, Jay. It's here, right? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're just learning how to do this and you end up with um, the, uh, the end car, which has the coupler on it. And you wanna make sure you get that on the right end of the train there, on that side, and then the other one is down on the side. Real nice there at the end. Oh, yeah. Next one, the air track. You're gonna link those up. There we go. I think we're gonna try and put together our long interwell intermodal interwell train. Intermodal. We're choosing which engine to run today, and uh, we have our case here. And I think we're going to choose the. Uh, that's actually a Scale Trains engine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, not rivet counter, uh, uh, rivet operator. Counter operator series of BNSF. We'll bring you over to the layout. So we decided we're going to use the Scale Trains BNSF that we got. This is just an operator series, but I'll tell you. For the price, this is such a great engine. The sounds, all the features, and of course it's a DCC. We're going to use that today to run our new interwell system here. Our wonderful new well cars that we got. These are the rivet counters also from ScaleTrains.com.